What up dudes, it's Pixel Tricks. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. So, um, people want to see the second arc, and I'm down. I never saw the ending of the second season. I enjoyed it. I thought it was cool, but... Like, the network that played the anime, uh, would always get to really close to the end, and then they would reset the whole thing from the beginning. Yeah. They, they would do that with, like, Dragon Ball Z all the time, too. Right before Goku turned Super Saiyan on Namek, it would go all the way back to Raditz, and I'd be super salty. So we're going to play through this. Uh, the Mystery Duelist. It looks like Bandit Keef. Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. And we're in this together, no matter what. Good. I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Aw, oh, they're friends. Later that day, Yugi and Tei came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his future. Yugi welcomed this opportunity. <coughs> Tea, maybe our fortune t this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> The fortune teller asked for a personal item which he could use to tell the future. He indicated the Millennium Puzzle would be perfect, as Yugi reluctantly handed it over. Like an idiot. Man, dude, that thing's like pure gold. You could take it a pawn shop, get scroll for days. Yugi realized it was a ruse when the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. When Yugi tracked down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was none other than Bandit Keith. There was something different about him. Something, or someone, was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only speak through him since he's become my mind control slave. Who are you? And what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within, but according to the rules of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> as for who I am, let's just say that I'm the one who shall control your destiny as I may as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of the Millennium Item. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it, which your you and even your spirit that inhabits it are unaware. That's why I will add it to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yugi reached out with his mind to try to connect to the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You have to fight him alone. Alone? But I've never fought a duel without you. You can defeat him and tr uh, just trust yourself, your deck, and you'll find the way. What about the Heart of the Cards? They used to always talk shit about the heart of the cards back there. They, they haven't even brought it up once. No, they did once. Grandpa did. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi. I've seen your future and foretold your fate. This duel will be your last. Eh. Okay, let's go, baby. Mind-controlled bandit Keith. You, you catch all that, dudes? Like, that, that was a lot. That was a lot to start off with. He got me. Okay, fine. At least give Bandit Keith like a new portrait where he looks all zombied out or something. Okay, fine. Bandit Keith. No, I have to play this normal s bitch Yugi. This sucks. Komodo Dragon. Komori Dragon. Okay, target one monster your opponent controls, destroy it. And then give them. Got how many cards do you need? Okay. Ooh, ancient rule. Alright, uh. I activate this. Oh, this is a bitch monster. Yo, go, Komori Dragon. Alright. What the... 4,000... What? 4,000... When a monster is summoned or a spell trap activated, pay half your life points. Negate the summoner activation if you do destroy that... Wow. Just destroy... Just to destroy my shit dragon? Was that worth 4,000 life points? <laughs> Wow, Bandit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big boys. Machine King. Oh, yeah. This is his uh, machine deck. How cool. I remember this. Well, I'm a little fucked. That's cool. I'm going to save it for when I need it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I wonder if he has another one. 
I remember that card. The judgment thing. All right, who next? Celtic Guardian. Go. And then I kill my Guardian. Uh, no, I kill your card and give you Guardian. No, my friend. Okay, that's fine. Worth. This thing can be turned into an absolute threat. All right, so the swords are over. Oh, perfect. Okay, so I activate ancient rules uh, and summon some of the skull. This is a redundant statement, I know, as I've stated. Then I use the magical mist uh, with you and destroy. That was unnecessary. Okay, I thought it would destroy his face down too. I was sorely mistaken. Yeah, it was a waste. Oh. Oh, draw two cards and banish one dark monster from your hand. If you don't have any, send your entire hand to the graveyard. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't know what these face down monsters are, but I need to fight them so I can get my Millennium Puzzle back. I turned into Joey for some reason. Okay. Oh, cool. It's working. Oh shit. He got me. He still has Blast Spheres. Oh shit, dude. Okay. This is my fusions. Curse of feet. Oh, no, no. Again. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did he do that? No, this could be another blast sphere, dudes. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, but I don't. I'm gonna risk it. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The AI in this game is a little is a little fucky, isn't it? Okay, I'm sorry I swore. All right. Wait a minute. I activate polarization, and then I can get Guy of the Dragon Champion, and fuse these two monsters like this. Check it out, dude. It's easy. I'm like no way, Digimon, digital monsters. Okay, and then in attack position like these. Nice. And that's the whole game, baby. Dead. Wow, Bandit Keith, you suck. What happened to you? You used to be an intercontinental champion. As Yugi battled Bandit Keith, Evil Bakura found his way into the duel, following the Millennium Puzzle's energy with his Millennium Rain. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energies I detect are within Yugi's opponent. Bandit Keith is just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this public show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle. My reign severed the strings that bind this man, freed his mind from the Shadow Realm. Bakura, unseen. Bandit Keith was free. Oh, Bakura, unseen. Bandit Keith was free from the mind control, making Bandit Keith's controller wonder what happened. What happened? My Millennium spell over Keith has been broken. But how? Only the power of an another Millennium item can sever a connection to the Strawn. Spoilers game. This guy wasn't supposed to be revealed till later, I thought. Um, where am I? Bandy Keith, you silly. Ooh, what did I get? Oh, I got a stupid machine monster. And I got a signature card. Oh, ba the bandit tools, right? Two, uh, seven tools of the bandit, right? Oh, fun. Battle City begins go. Yugi was disturbed that there was now an unknown foe attempting to take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. He didn't know how. Uh, he didn't know enough about the puzzle to understand what dangers he would have to face. Eh! Not so great. I need your help. And so does the spirit of the Millennium Puzzle. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to know a lot about its past. Uh, that reminded me how the spirit. Uh, how, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Sorry. I had so much sriracha, and I'm like recovering. <laughs> so my my narration today is not on point, my boys. Okay, that reminded me the spirit. Uh, that reminded the spirit how little he knows about it. But hanging out with you might help to fi <laughs> us figure things out. Oh, smooth, Yugi. Sure, but how exactly is that gonna do that? You always have great advice. Just talk to him. The spirit and Taya spent the day together, and they went to Domino Museum which had just opened their Egyptian exhibit. They saw an ancient stone carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Aiba. 
As they stood in awe of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My pharaoh, I have been expecting you. Huh? Who are you? I am Ishizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I have uncovered many mysteries about you and these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Everyone's got a damn Millennium item in the second arc. Another Millennium item! Like your Millennium Puzzle, this necklace affords me certain powers. With it, I have gazed 5,000 years into the past to a time where evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed a magic powerful enough to stop the threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you. And now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind for what? Uh, from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My millennium necklace also shows me visions of the future, my pharaoh. The events of the past will occur once again. And that same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize this evil? I know that your memory is faded and that you seek many answers. I also know a dual monsters tournament is beginning. If you win it, you will find more answers. The tournament that Shizu was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City Tournament. Joe and Yugi both received invitations to participate. All entries were given a special transparent card uh, known as a locator card. The tournament attracted a group of duelists known as the Rare Hunters. These evil duelists were thieves intent on stealing the most rare Duel Monsters cards. Joey lost his red eyes black dragon to a rare hunter named Seeker. Hoping to win back his card, Joey challenged him to match. You got my red eyes and I want it back, so it's time to duel. I have no desire to duel you. I've already relieved you from your rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Well, that's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win my red eyes. Joey, what's going on? Yugi Moto. He has the item my master desires. This guy owes me a rematch so I can win back my red eyes. I already told you I have nothing that's of any use to me, but perhaps your friend would be interested in being my next victim. It would be my pleasure to hunt the Duelist Kingdom Champion and snare his Dark Magician, so I challenge Yugimoto to a duel. Fine, Rare Hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way I can win back your car, Joey. If you win this duel, I'll hand over my Dark Magician to you. But if you lose, you must return Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon. Okay. Hey, DD Warrior, I remember that. Yeah, this guy has an Exodia deck. And he's a giant bitch <laughs> to deal with. Alright. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, another pot of greed. Oh, and. Okay. Okay, I got Exodia done. Alright. Well, shit. This is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> no! Dark Magician! <laughs> Damn it! These rare hunters, dude. What can I say? Alright. Mmm. Okay. Not my Dark Magician again! Oh, this is perfect. This is just what I need. Actually, I can't put anything down. So do this. Destroy all face-up spell cards on the field. Face-up. Alright, cool. And I end my turn. Ba -na -na -na. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I activate this. So now, he can't put any monsters in defense position. Uh, I don't think that works. Yeah, I don't think that'll help me. Uh, because it's already been activated. I believe. What was it? It won't it won't tell me. Oh god. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, dude, keep her cool me. Keep her cool. It just seek her. <laughs> he does not it's Dude, 
Dude, this is an actual fire deck. Isn't it? Okay. Alright, there it is again. Just skip to hear me. Just skip to No one needs to see that. Okay. Oh my god, one more turn. One more turn. Please don't get Exodia now. Okay. <laughs> Back him. Oh, please do- Oh, please do it. Oh, please do it. <laughs> oh, please do it. One more. <laughs> don't get Exodia next turn. Don't get Exodia next turn. Please don't do it. Oh my god! <laughs> I finally had it! I sat through three Swords of Revealing Lights again! <laughs> Alright. Oh my- Ah! Uh. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you- Am I- There is no- There's just no way. There's just no way. That was like turn three, turn four. Oh my- I'm- Oh my god. <laughs> This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. Unfair. <laughs> I'm calling unfairness on this immediately. Alright, we get this down for uh, Swords of Villain Light only. Alright? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this. Intervention. Nice. No flip effects for you, baby. No. Okay. Thanks. I didn't want my shitty, uh, silver fan anyway. That's cool. He has Joey's Red Eyed Black Dragon in his deck. Ah. Alright, dudes. Serious face. Oh, here we go. No, no. I said no. I said no. Goodbye. Good. Good. Alright, who next? Feral Imp, my favorite Pokemon. Alright. Attack of Light Points directly. We did it. Good. Okay. You do, Yami, believe in yourself. Please do it. Oh, no, don't get that one. He has two of. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. Okay. Get upstart goblin. That's that's the thing that would upset me the least. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright. Oh, give me Dark Magician now. Oh my god, they actually listened to me. It's incredible news. Oh, that was imp that was impre that was a that was a good play from me, dudes. You should all be very impressed. Me wanting something and then getting it. That was definitely good play. Okay. Please attack him. Please attack him, Dark Magician. <laughs> okay, we got this. We got this. There's nothing he can do. I know everything he puts down. Yep. Okay. It's fine. We can put... Uh, your opponent control is alright. Okay. It's time to get some damage. Not even a Swords or a Villain Light can save you now. What say you now? What say you now, Seeker? What do you got for this? What do you got for this now, huh? Oh, that that, that works. That actually works very well. Okay. Oh, no. Bench one random card from your opponent's hand. Face down. Doing your opponent's fourth. Return the card. All right, sure. All right, well, destroy this. You've, you've earned yourself one extra turn. Okay. I'm not even going to say it, I'm so salty. Just do it. You know what I want. Okay, end this. Okay. Now activate the card. Yeah. Yeah, do this. Banish one of his Exodia pieces, please. Banish him. Nice. Okay, this is going to last four turns. Oh, we can't even draw. Oh, we win. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's finally over. It's finally over. <sighs> yeah, you you won first try. 
I'm taking Joey Red out to the locator cart. I lost. I failed. Forgive me, mother. I tried my best. No, don't be angry. Ah. You, this wacko's lost his mind. Remember me, Pharaoh? Actually, perhaps you don't. You were trapped in the puzzle when I dueled Lil Yugi. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter. Though, he was the weakest duelist in my group. Oh my god, no he wasn't. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> my other minions will prove more formidable. Yugi, what's with this freak show? Pharaoh, I'll wait for you for years. Finally, after all this time, I will destroy you. I will not allow my other rare hunters to fall like this one. I have little time for this kind of foolishness, so I've taken over his body and trapped his mind in the Shadow Realm. I am in control. How do you control him? Each Millennium item contains his own unique power. My mind control is a simple task with Millennium Rod. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hove. Merrick. Well, what do you want from me, Merrick? I want what belongs to me, and I'll take it using the strength of my Egyptian God cards. Egyptian what? Millennia ago, a trio of powerful behemoths rampaged through the ancient Egypt. These Egyptian god monsters spread destruction throughout the world. The pharaoh sealed them away for eternity. But when Pegasus created dual monsters, he resurrected these mighty beasts as cards. With these Egyptian god cards, I can destroy you and claim the power I deserve. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. You misunderstand. I want more than the power of the puzzle. I want the pharaoh's power, the boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself. With that. No one will stand my way. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha I'll use the almighty magic I gained to conquer the, and lead the world. I'll be unstoppable. The end is near, Pharaoh. It's my world now. Not yet, Merrick. I'm beginning to understand why Ishizu asked me to participate in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil powers you seek. And I will. Heh. <laughs> Pharaoh, your days are numbered. Enjoy the game. While well, you still can. Because your reign is coming to an end. Man, that was weird. I knew that guy was a big creep, but who knew it was just a front for another creep. Here, Joey, take your red eyes. You hold on to it. It wasn't mine to take, pal. You won it fair and square. Besides, the rare hunters collect tons of rare cards. Their decks are all souped up, so I know you're going to need it. Uh, you've always had my back, so it's time I hope to you for a change. That's why I want to, you to keep my red eyes. I know it's going to come in handy for you. Besides, this means that part of me will be part of your deck. It's kinda cool knowing that I helped you save the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm still in the contest because I still have the rare card requirements covered. Red Eyes was my only rare card in my deck. You gave me another rare card back in the day, remember? It's time, wizard. Yep, it bailed me out out of Jans and Duelist Kingdom and I know it's gonna save my butt in Battle City. You know, when you think about it, both of our hearts are in our decks. We're a team, together. We won't let any duels beat us. We'll whoop this merit creep his rare hunter goon squad goon squad so hard they don't know what hit him they'll be sorry that they ever decided to mess with us thanks joey i'll take good care of your red eyes you're a true friend joey and together we can take on the evils coming our way whoa that was a lot of text okay i'm so mad i'm so mad dude <laughs> that took so I've been recording for an hour. <laughs> I gotta go. Okay, bye. <laughs>